Okay, on a couche à couche, on a cabo, mais pas un problème. Et ça, le well-body, mais c'est pas un gentil programme. Oui, on a Salomon dans le monde, beaucoup, beaucoup, dans les bras, quand on a mis un nom, c'est mon John Fouwa. As on a qu'on sait, c'est la 72nd um, session, et today we will talk about cervical dysplasia and cancer awareness. We are Dr. Christian Bell, now in the presenter, and we get a guest speaker, Dr. Ufa Alessi. And apparently, we get another guest speaker as well, we Dr. Bell going to introduce later with me, not only with what Dr. Bell will tell us. And today, on Sunday, the 21st of January, uh, 2024, very soon in a few days, uh, we will forget Boku, but let's celebrate. We are not going to talk now, the weeks. So, I thought you would talk now, Seth. It presents and I'm back this soon. And so, myself, and oh, so, <laughs> two other people are within the team. So, at the end, if anybody feels so, you know, feels so nice, maybe I wish you happy birthday, feel free for do that. Okay. And I can't say my name, Natimu John Fuller, and the panelist team, that the World Body Basic Pass Gentry team, we get Boku people, MI pharmacists, we get um, public health people, we get agency medicine consultants, we get um, general practitioners, we get, there's a lot. So most likely, if you ask any question, somebody within the team must they we know you 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 question with the answer. Please, my family, can be say before we know they give personalized advice now and a general advice we give. So if you get anything personal, we need for talk talk to your physician. Okay, but just say we know what help. The reason we make only do that is because we not get on a full medical background for the we will be on the right advice we on a need. Okay, okay, may we kick off. Like what we say, that the way they give the program, non power we know they get paid. Now, free we they do one because we like it. Okay? Nobody know they get paid. We they do one no more out of the goodness of the heart. And it even costs. We not to just buy uh, the material we give, also financially, that we don't profit to the cost as well. But we like people and how much we want to make sure so people can benefit. And it, that, uh, this program can't turn up. And I'll probably talk before um when we record the program, it will be available on YouTube and Facebook. I know say the last two sessions are not put them up yet. Um basically December one have been busy and two are not really free. But I will make sure say I try for the data. See Christian is not a very watchman. No, yeah, I'll go do I'll go do I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Okay. Yeah, boy, go on um YouTube and Facebook for the the one they will not get the opportunity for watch um live they give watch and day. But also if you don't watch and you enjoy them that much, or maybe you want to reference and later, you can always go there and view them. Okay. Also, we get a WhatsApp number. So if you want to reach out to me or you want to join the WhatsApp group, I will share the link later. You can join the WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp group is good for the, you know, you keep up to up to date with medical advice and stuff like that. We know they post that regular, so you're not worried about say that they post all kinds of junk and stuff like that. And no politics not ever were posted. I don't think doctors and I they posted. Okay. And like what they said before, if you're not brave like me, you know, for sure you face or maybe you're in an environment where noisy, you don't want to talk, you want to ask questions. And if you either use your hand for talk, or you can click this three button on your phone or your tablet, it will show you this sign, say either you can chat if you don't want to talk to me verbally, or you can raise your hand. When I see this sign, I will come to you. But if you're not able to do all that, you know what? Just ace you know, physically. I will acknowledge you. I see you and come to you. Yeah, if I'm not come to you, if you cannot miss the ignore. You just miss it. Maybe other people in the way that they see before you. Now I make okay. So um, pretty much that's it. That's why I say no more. Um, if you get any suggestion, feedback, um, you gonna not like my voice. Maybe not like the way they present, or maybe even like what they do. Whatever it is, good, bad, you know. Please let me know any suggestion. Feedback or any questions, send them to me on um, on email. Or you can WhatsApp me and ask me questions. Okay. Now, well, thank you very much for listening. And I can over now to Dr. Bell. We're going to take another three session today. Okay. Over to okay. So let's share my screen. So, um, when I see the presentation, yes. When I go to my family, um, as I tell um, Mr. Fuller, thank you very much for we he um. Introduce me. Um, myself, a member of the Well Body Better Pass Country Group. My name is Christian Bell. I'm an OBGYN. I'm a take care of women. Them. 
um, when they when they seek. And my own specialty, what they do now, um, reproductive medicine and um, gynecological endocrinology. Um, I try to pull this up. So, yes, um, endocrinology, and that means say I I look at couples that we know able for bone picking, and then we were able for try for look why make they they know for bone picking, and then. Um, we see whose um, treatment will be best for them for make them able for, for make the woman able for bone picking. So now your specialty that day. But today I did talk about the cervical and dysplasia and cancer. Um, now actually I know it, I it's kind of for go too much scientific. I did try for break and down for make the ordinary people to understand them. Um, the me uh, the main important word for me topic are the awareness. Awareness for make people then know about this thing here so and waiting them for do for event time or for um for make they able for treat them if they get them. Um one short disclaimer none of the pictures they buy they show them your pictures them the internet I pull them or somebody else provide them for me and some of the chats them also uh internet I pull them on a that somebody them provide them for me. So how we get for with this talk first we they go we we'll talk about the cervix, waiting at the cervix. Then we will talk about the virus, this HPV, the human papilloma virus. We will talk about them, and then we will talk about dysplasia and talk about the cancer. And then, for me, the, the most important part of this talk now, the um, awareness session, where we will talk that we will talk about um, how this thing has to affect people uh, around the world. And then we'll get a short, short presentation uh, by Doctor. Cisse, Dr. Cisse, now somebody where they work in a salon, um, um, where they deal with the, uh, with, with not na gynecology, so you know, they only deal with cervical cancer, they deal with other things, them, they work for the well woman clinic in a salon, and then go hopefully get other statements, them from other people, them, um, including the, the um, palliative medicine or the palliative care in a salon, and then we'll come to the question and answer. Um, so first of all, where are the cervix? The cervix, now the lower part of the of the uterus, the womb, and the woman. When they see me, 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 me pointer. Now the lower part, this part here, so of the um, uterus, where they connect the vagina of the woman to the other part of the uterus. Um, you get what we call the ecto cervix. Now the part where the outside means where they watch inside the vagina. Now this part you see, and they call the ecto cervix. And then inside, outside this whole day, yaso so yaso. Now that part then they call the endo cervix. And then the joining between the ecto cervix and the endo cervix, then they call the transformation zone. That transformation zone, zone they very very important because now that transformation zone day, now they some tendon dysplasia can start. The lining, the carpet of the cervix, um, now which we call the epithelium. This epithelium also gets what we call the basal cells. Now the cell that we did down, that the under part of the epithelium, and then cells then they now they now they the production of the epithelium they come out. So now so the cells then they grow from under as we cut up. Now they very very also very very important for no, and the cells then are the Endocervix, so where they inside different parts of the cell, the way they are the ectocervix. Now, the same epithelium, but the shape of the cell is different. So, that means that transformation zone day, now that zone where they transform from the endocervix or from the ectocervix to the endocervix. So, what's now the HPV, human papilloma virus? The human papilloma virus, a virus where it affects the reproductive tract. Um, now then they have, then they infect that basal cells from the top part. Now then they uh, 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 infect, and uh, um, um, this epithelium is it in the skin and it in the mucosa. The mucosa are like a skin with the inside person in mouth, with the inside the vagina. Now they call mucosa. So um, it actually they 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 infect the basal cells that the area that they you get over two hundred. Um, um HPV them, 40 of them sexually transmitted, and 13 of them they cause cancer. Most people there, we don't get sexual intercourse, don't get this infection. 
Yeah. So that means say that like, common thing, people and they get them. People and they even get them repeatedly. But 90% of that infection, they, they lost, they clear after one or two years. So some people are not even no sense in getting the infection. So people then way people, some people then can hear about HPV, then can they scare, then say, oh, me doctor tell me say, say I get HPV. Sometimes then that, that infection they clear after one or two years. So not a thing for worry about. Um, you get different kinds of um HPV, as I say, you can get you get about 200 types. Um, you get the low risk one them, and then you get the high risk one them. The low risk one them, not they cause cancer. The low risk one them, then they cause what they call what's. And then what's then they, and I like a bomb bomb, we can come out like an apadioma in vulva, a man in penis, insect can come out at the cervix, you can come out at the vagina, it can come on at the scrotum, the scrotum that that sack with the end behind the penis. It can also occur inside or around the anus. And it can also then a mouth and throat. People then can say, ah, you get to it now, 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 then call it genital what? Why make it go inside mouth? Or why make it go in at the anus? So it can then at the mouth, where people then they um, um, do oral sex, for instance, or you go then at the anus, where people then they do anal sex. The two, um HPV them where they cause where they cause most of the what them now the HPV type six and type eleven and then you get the high risk HPV them the high risk HPV as I don't say it not thirteen of them the most um 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 the most rampant one now the sixteen and the eighteen I think can cause the most cancer them. So that means the high risk, now then they cause the dysplasia, and now then they cause the cancer. So we today they talk about the cervix, but the infection can self still lay in the vagina, it then the vulva, it then the penis. That means you can get also cancer at the penis if you get the HPV, it then the anus, it then the throat, it then the tongue, it then the tonsils. Yeah, today we need only to talk about the cervix. But if you get that chronic infection of HPV, it can also go in other areas there. So that then for me, I know about HPV force. When we come to dysplasia, first of all, what we not therefore know is if somebody gets HPV, it always it take a while before you get cancer. So that means if you get HPV, and as I say, after one or two years, it can go. If the soldier man and your body strong, then the you, you immune system strong, it can go after one or two years. But if they did four years, five years, six years, seven years, and it's still the chronic HPV infection, now that tending now, you go get dysplasia. So that means, say, as I say, the the HPV they, they infect then cells there as well, the basal cells. And the way it infect the basal cells, we don't take a while. Then the cells and then they begin change their form. They begin change their form, and then that's when you will say you get dysplasia, not to cancer, or just dysplasia. Let me say the cell don't change the abnormal. The cell don't turn abnormal. You get two different types of uh, dysplasia. You get the the mild one, and then you get the moderate or severe one, or they can call them the low grade and high grade. That means the low grade, now the one when about one third of the cells that don't change, the high grade, now way it don't go like the two thirds to three thirds of the of the cell that we don't change, now it's on high grade. The cancer side, we will talk about that day later. How we name for diagnosis? Um, you can get a brush where they put in the cervix, like an eye or so. You tap tap on the cervix, and then the cells that we don't pull in the cervix, then can test themselves. Then they then can test themselves. Then they when I, that that thing they call pap smear. Then they put some kind of tint on the cell. Them they they actually see the cell that we don't change. Then can still use that brush the back 
and if liquid will and cool and have washed it, then can check the if you get HPV. And then they can then get what we call colposcopy, get a colposcope, that's not like, that's okay, like, like a magnifying glass or a camera where they watch inside the human vagina, you watch the cervix for see if they get any change there. Then you get some acid, the uh, uh, acetic acid, we can put on the vagina, we put up on the vagina, the, the, if the cell change, if you get this dysplasia, the color they change in the white. So you know exactly who the, the the abnormal cells then they. And then you can take which we call the forceps and pinch small from the cervix. And then they can watch, then if you've got a cell and go to the pathologist, the pathologist will watch now and tell you if um if um, we get cells then they way um, a dysplasia, and then you can actually categorize the dysplasia. But the first step, actually, we, 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 we can always say for you, now the pap smear and the HPV. Then the SFK user as screening. Then to the NIC user as screening. So normally, um, the stages now, you do the HPV. If the HPV negative, they will know to the human organ nothing. But if the HPV positive, then you can do the pap smear. And if you do the pap smear, you see, say, you get cells that we don't change, then you can go further down. But you get some countries there, we don't get HPV tests, they don't get pap smear, then they can go straight away with this um, VIA for check if they get any white area, because then they're very, very cheap. And in some countries, there's low and middle income countries, then something like that, like that they can do. But the main thing we, most people in do actually, like, like Germany has so, so and now they're inside for change and small, but like Germany has so they tell each and every woman them for go once, one time for a year, for go do pap smear. And then we don't take that silly, they give the pathologist. Let me say, if you also get a very good pathologist, the pathologist now, naive, now they tell you now who's kind of cell and they divide into pap one to pap five. By right? pap one, ulti normal, pap five, my cancer. We reach them pap three. Now you're going to say, okay, this has to do with dysplasia. Get it part 3D1, part 3D2, and one go into details. But when you get them part 3D, now they now can say, okay, so tell you for look now with camera, with a magnifying glass. And then when you get them part 4, now the high grade now, now they can say, okay, maybe we forgo go in and do the biopsy. That's not the normal uh, uh, stages then where people can do, but as I say, some countries then can modify them therefore depend on whose kind of facility they get. So, as I say, as, as the PAP, you don't get PAP 3, then you do the corposcopy, and then when you do the corposcopy, you see, they get boko, 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 signals the way they show, say, okay, this is not the area, then you can do the biopsy. And then when you do the biopsy now, the you get, you get, you get for always get a very good pathologist, the pathologist now, they send that, that tissue we pull, you send and go back to the pathologist. And then the pathologist now, they tell you now, who stage that is. You get another staging system where they use for tell you almost part of the, of that, that tissue we cut come out, get the, the, the abnormal cells there. So we like from the scene, scene one, now the mild one, scene two, now the moderate, and scene three, now the um, severe abnormal, abnormal cells. There. So according to the stage then they now, now that tendon now you go and um, do your treatment. Yeah, by like scene one, so they can say you don't need for do treatment, you just need for observe them, scene two and scene three, especially scene three, they can advise say for, for treat. And how you did treat them? Um we get something we call leap. We get this, this instrument, this electrosurgical loop, where they use for cut the psychomot where the cells them. Abnormal. As I say, if you if you take that swab, you, you put that acid pan the pan the cervix and a mild acid, you go to any bad acid. Now you see the white spot, the white area. So if you see that white area, then now you take this loop, you cut that white area will come out. And then if in a small area, and then you give the pathologist back the pathologist. Now they tell you, say, yes, you don't cut all come out. Now, now heal it or heal the woman. So but if the area big small. Where you can't use this loop for cut, then they can advise people then for cuts, um, which we call a cone. 
a con um, coniza um, conization. They cut this cone commot. Usually, in our countries, they will get a laser, then you use laser more precise, laser for which laser the human okay, they bleed buckle. But country they will not get their laser, they and left can use like use this capel for cut the area outside this um abnormal cells, so the displays here day. And then again, send them to the pathologist. The pathologist now will tell you, say yes, you don't cut all commot or no, some place go left. Then um, or you go tell you which one has in one, sin two, or sin three. But usually, if you don't do the biopsy, you will know if it's in two or sin three. And then Ingo don't tell you now. The pathologist now will tell you, say yes, you don't cut all commot. Then the woman now suppose for the go regularly for checkup for see um if um it will develop and back the probability will make it develop and back actually really low but the dysplasia if you not treat them can go over to cancer so from the hpv infection to the dysplasia they take about five to seven years so that means say if that woman don't go go check, then tell her say you get HPV. They go every year for check, then find out say after two years the HPV don't go, then everything not okay. Or if you get displaced, yeah, you continue for check, then find out say now three D you tap, you know, go further, continue for check, you don't need for treat her. So continue they treat, but no need for treat her. But then if the woman not go to doctor at all, then you get displaced, yeah. Then if they get cancer, they take about 10 to 30 years. You get woman there with the, the sujaman and the body, you know they work properly, the immune system, you know they work fine. That thing they can, can, can lower the, 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 the span from, from dysplasia to cancer. Yeah, because we don't hear about cases then where woman there in the space of two, three years, then they get cancer. Um, but theoretically speaking, they say it can take. 10 to 30 year for make it develop from dysplasia to cancer. So that means the dysplasia, now where this, you get this basal layer, where this basal layer um, still the intact, then are still dysplasia. But as this basal layer, not the intact again, the cell, they don't begin, they, they, don't, they, 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 they develop, develop, develop uh, abnormally, they don't, they don't walk through this basal layer, that's in the column cancer. Let me they call it invasive cancer because it don't broke through um, this basal layer. And as we say, HPV, now you usually they cause them, but it take time. And now the fourth most frequent cancer in women around the world. Around the world. Yeah. For salon different, but we will come to that later. But around the world, now the fourth most frequent cancer. And if when they understand the talk, why they go, so I find out, say, hmm, if this person may they go to a doctor, then suppose for don't see, say, get HPV, or then suppose for don't for see, say, you get dysplasia. Why make this cancer for even they exist? You know? So that then might be one thing we're going to get for the think about. Say, this cancer, theoretically speaking, not supposed for exist if people learn if woman them they go to doctor regularly. So with the risk factor, yeah, we are seeing a risk factor there. So some of them, um, um, we can we can discuss if they're a risk factor or not a risk factor. But the one main risk factor are the HPV infection and also the immune system. If the if the sujaman and the work, especially people that will get HIV, for instance, as well, get that problem there as well. You know, so if the sujaman and the work properly in the body, the probability for making the HPV left in the body high, and the probability for making that now turn into dysplasia and cancer high. Um, they can say people that will get multiple sex partners, they will get higher risk, and then are two. Um, because you don't know who they give Uda, yeah. And definitely, and uh, uh, um, uh, um, tobacco and 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 not if you not get correct diet can also unblock your immune system. Um, but um, the for more more than three picking or the prolonged um, bath control pills, 
then they um, we can discuss about that day, but people then um, they still they say people then we get more than three people can get a higher risk. That not means say you will get them. You just say normally you get a higher risk because you have to understand say the cervix. Um, now that day they dilate with the picky the woman they born. So if the more activity you get in that area day, especially that transformation zone, and you get HPV infection, then they can increase your risk, your risk for get cervical cancer. This then thing as soon as for cervical cancer, they talk also. Yeah. But the most important thing is we're not they actually at this list. Now that one they will know they go to the doctor. When do they go for screening, when do they go for checkup. That one they that one they get a very, very high risk for getting cancer. So when they diagnose, are you there for testing? The same thing like a dysplasia, you get the pap test, you get the corposcopy and this corretage now, like uh, um, you they crash, like um, you get the, tra the, the transformation zone, you get some woman they were older, the transformation zone can be inside the cervix. Yeah, that means that. The, 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 from the endocervix to the ectocervix, in the actually inside the cervix. So you need to see that area there. So you need this sort of like a spoon with this for crutch, that area there for see if if um you get cells, then they will not change. And the MRI, if woman don't get cancer, if they don't don't, don't show say yes, my cancer, it nice for, for do the MRI for see if the cancer don't spread. Because with the cancer back, you get different, different stages. Um, you get like stage one to stage four. Stage one, that means you know that the cervix no more a day. Stage two, you don't work and go small down inside the vagina, or you don't work and go up small inside to the uterus. By stage three, you don't reach what we call the pelvic wall. That means it, 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 it is spread out. By stage four now, you don't reach like a, the bladder, you don't reach like a, the, the, the rectum. And if you now watch this area, the five-year survival rate, if then check her early, yeah, that means say. That basal layer not broke yet. It's still a dysplasia. And then treat and that thing, all women will survive. All. As you don't reach the cancer, now you see the survival rate, they go down. They go down. They go down. We reach stage four now, where they talk about seven out of 100 women. Now then they survive five years. Seven out of 100 women. And then statistics, they also. Now, for high income countries, oh, the side who say treatment really good. Now, the statistics is seven out of 100, now then normal they survive with the cancer, the rich stage four cancer. And now, low and middle income, uh, middle income countries, then um, that statistics they, they tend to zero. And at the repeater normal, at the repeater again, with the talk about cancer, where you can treat early and you can even prevent. Yeah. So what are the symptoms then where you can get where you don't reach then stage three, stage four? You get the unusual bleeding. You just the you not so during the, not so your period you they see, but you they see bleeding even between your period. You they get pain where they get sexual intercourse. You you vagina discharge this they get unpleasant smell. Then woman then we don't already reach the menopause and so which they get 50, 52, then they see them bleeding again, like a five year later, they will begin bleed. Yeah, if they get uncontrolled weight loss, you always the fatigue because you they lost a lot of blood and you need to sleep because of your pain, you get leg pains, you get pelvic pain, you get bottom belly pain. All then are the symptoms then we can get that not mean say. If you get one pandemic symptoms, also, you get cervical cancer. Like, for instance, if you get bottom belly pain, you get still what we call endometriosis. We don't talk about that in our in in session before. If you know, you know, the last session, they can go to the uh, our YouTube page, you go watch that session. It's also a very important session for, for young women. Them. Um, but if you get a combination of the symptoms there soon, then it's very important for making you go to the doctor. People like you always feel say, um, then they're afraid for go to the doctor because the doctor will find something. Uh, but the, the, the thing I want to get for realize is that if they find something and they find something early enough, when they're able to treat you, then they go save your life. 
But if you're afraid for go to doctor, for making them treat you because and because and usually they see the symptoms already, then then they can 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 ambog you. So we they always advise patients and say and, and on the other hand, doctors then they not only for treat. Doctors are also there for prevent. So especially in this case, if somebody don't reach stage three or stage four, that means that person over 10 to 30 years not go to doctor for examination at all. So it's the treatment. Um, by, by stage one, stage two, uh, surgery then go able for do. Uh, stage one and some of stage two, not all stage two, so if you do surgery, um, by stage one, it's a small area, you can do that um, colonization. Yeah, and if you have a pull all the cancer, then it go good. Um, sometimes we don't be stage, stage two, you get to remove the whole uterus or you get to pull part of the vagina as well. But as they reach the stage three now, most of the 10 now na um, chemotherapy and radiotherapy they can do, they can com sometimes combine also both. Um, but we don't reach that stage four, as I don't tell you, say tell you seven percent, but then normally survive five years. And uh, most times na and um, um, palliative care na you get for the palliative care na you de, you try for relieve the patients of in pain and the suffering way you can get, and that is also very very important. We can do especially cancer, not only cancer, but especially cancer for make you get a um, palliative care and the palliative care. Um, not only not only release the pain, and um, you also get um you get for you not know, so the patients them and also the family can get psychological problems as well. So um a very very good support um for patients with terminally ill, and um we, I hope say I'll be able to talk small about this later on, um during the question and answer session. So the treatment or the therapy depend on the stage of the disease. As I say, stage one, they can do surgery. And, and um, as they go on, that, uh, as they go down the list, take it to um, palliative care, but then they own, not for make they just relieve you from the pain. But the one main thing we're supposed to do is that prevention is better than cure. Yeah, this is also, I will repeat some over, I don't talk them before, I will repeat them again. Prevention, it's better than cure. You can able to prevent this cancer. So the best thing we will do, let we tell we, we, we fumble and say, this is not something we can prevent. Unfortunately, now with society, we always think about cure instead of prevention. I mean, take things like uh, diabetes or high blood pressure, for instance. And we tell them, I say, when I eat healthy, when I go exercise, when I don't go do that day, but when I will take high blood pressure medicine, or we'll take high blood pressure, or I will take a diabetic injection or medicine. Instead of preventing, they can always they go for cure. But it will always nice for let we they prevent some certain things, especially things like a dysphoria. So we will definitely you got other cancer then, like a breast cancer, for instance. You know they're able for prevent them, you're able for detect them early. We also very important. Another reason I make, make all women there for the good all, all women for the touch them. Not only women, they man themselves for the touch themselves. That talk they say, we don't get that talk they now. So, like, go on YouTube, go watch that talk they back so for, for the examining themselves. So, and if you see any small lump, you go to doctor, then go operate you, then remove them. That means, say, they don't cure you. You can't prevent. Uh, um, breast cancer. Okay, some people will argue say, okay, well, I mean, good, um, good diet and and healthy living can also prevent. But like uh, this one year so, nothing where you definitely be able for prevent. So I never prevent that. We don't talk about the early treatment. We don't talk about the screening and and early detection. But the one thing a lot of people don't know, I want to learn now, is that you get vaccine. You get vaccine when it prevents you from even getting the infection. Yeah, so that we see that the three stages that they really able for prevent cervical cancer. You can vaccinate the person for make you not know, even get the virus. 
you can go to screen for, for screening for see if you get displaced there or not, and then treat them back early. This vaccine here, so then they advise people then for gi picking them or the young girl picking them from the starting of, of from, from the nine year age, from nine year old. For when we're in nine year to when you're 15 year, then they hope say at, at that range day, you're supposed to don't get a vaccine, a two or three vaccine that we can give. Um, you get three different kinds of vaccine. Them the one way um, people they use now more that uh, this got as in nine because nine gets more HPV types than we than the vaccinates against. This first one here, so we now only in two high risk they are so um, they, they, they prevent. But uh, um, like the first one we come out, but now you get the gathers in nine. We not not only they prevent um, you forget the displays yeah but also they prevent you forget that what that bomb bomb why they talk about and now something we um then they advise each and every young um girl picking forget and in some countries themselves then they also vaccinate the boy picking it back because um now all that usually can as I say a sexually transmitted disease so now that they get the girl picking and all that they get the boy picking and they give themselves so if the boy picking self, I think the, 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 the Sweden also, they, 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 they do that way, then they actually vaccinate the boy picking them. Now, Germany, yeah, so like, if you want for me to vaccinate the boy picking, you can carry boy picking, go make them vaccinate them. And the girl picking, yeah, so back, fortunately in Germany, we still they at the option stage, we they give them the option for the one. Um, but with the hope, say, um, it will be part of um, the vaccine scheme where they be. So, so for this section, yeah, so, the take home message they want to know is that HPV 9 can cause dysplasia and cancer and the cervical cancer. And what it did take from the infection to the dysplasia five to seven years, from the dysplasia to the um, cancer 10 to um, 30 years. And the fourth most frequent cancer in women, and it able to prevent them if you. Take the vaccine, you do screening, and you treat the dysplasia early. The awareness for me is the most important part. For me, I really understand the importance of prevention. Yeah, and January, na the um, the dedicated uh, or the WHO dedicated for be the and cervical cancer awareness month and 2020 then the estimates say 604,000 new cases a one one year we talk about the cancer we talk about dysplasia 604 new cases of cancer that happened 2020 all over the world a cancer we really actually able for prevent and 342,000 women then, then die of that cancer day, 2020. A cancer we they able for prevent. And unfortunately, 90% of them people then we get the disease and we die of the disease come, come, come from low and income, low, low and middle income countries. Unfortunately, we beloved salon. Safe day, nada, uh, good day. And the other two now for know is that in you know, order for do the low and the middle income countries only, it get for do with the low and the middle income household, because you can then a high income country, but then um, you did you know you didn't have the low and the middle income household. The low and middle income household that then not usually go to doctor for the routine regularly, but then some get a higher risk for get um, dysplasia and also for get cancer. So WHO say if we if we do regular screening, seventy five percent seventy five percent of the cervical cancer when they diagnose nobody, then say nine women. They be diagnosed of cervical cancer every day, and two women they die 
every day of cervical cancer, uh, every day. Yeah, I repeat myself: a cancer we be able to prevent, and most of the women in the where they get that disease, they they under fifty years. So now young people will they talk about WHO one for try for eliminate. Um, cervical cancer, they get the initiative where they don't create, then say um, the incidence rate for day below 4 out of 100,000. 4 out of 100,000 women. And so the incidence rates for day. The, what the people are where, where they get the disease. How we in a salon? Um, unfortunately, in a salon, those are the fourth most common um, cancer among women and the second most common cancer among women. Yeah, Dr. Sisse will also talk more about that. And and I'll be telling us, say, the WHO say four out of 100,000 IFOB salon, we did 21.1. We did talk about 2020. And we did talk about the um, statistics them or the, the, the documented cases. We don't know if the other cases then they will not be documented. It can be that, but now the numbers in this we will get, yeah? And we still did 21.2 as of 2020. WHO say by 2030, we suppose for the go towards eliminating cervical cancer. Then get um, one um, um, target, when they say 90% of the girl picking them for be vaccinated, 70% of all women for be screened, and 90% of all people that will get cervical cancer for be treated. Then the, then the target of WHO. Uh, the screening get in different different countries get different different screening, but the one basic screening is they say by tell you the thirty five for do for do one screening, and then the next screening could be around the forty five. That are the basic one, but usually the so, um, patient they for go regularly, so uh, or a or a woman they for go regularly to a gynecologist from the gynecologist screen them. So we can able for end cervical cancer. We on job we do now yeah, now for inform. So please, when I want to hear this message yeah, so when I take her out, um, to other people then make themselves be informed, and make me young uh, woman them, we 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 we, we mama, we wife them, we, we we girl picking them, we sister them, let them go for screening, and we young picking them by the ten and the fifteen. They themselves don't be vaccinated. Um, I mean, search the internet for 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 find some studies them or some from papers them about Sierra Leone. Um, and I find a few. This one I mean from from twenty twenty. We um one one uh, Mohamed Bangua do um, do a case study about cervical prevention in Rwanda in a salon, and Rwanda. Be done at that same day, 2020, 2022. Rwanda be done achieve a vaccination rate of 93.3 percent, all the class six picking them, and then do them in a school based um, platform. Um, that means that the school and they go, go, go to the vaccine, and the one they were picking them when they go to school, and then get some kind of community partnership when they do them, and they be able for decrease. In cervical cancer incidence rates drastically in Rwanda. Then say 2022, um, Salon say we lag the BN in all cervical cancer prevention programs them. And the goal um, for make we able for eliminate cervical cancer, cancer no go feasible, and no go happen without awareness. So that the one main important thing we are the goal they do now also at the awareness section. And definitely, you also get the will of the policymakers, I mean, say the government, Ministry of Health, and also the public, because the public, therefore, also 
take this message out for make other people and not say we can able for eliminate this cancer. But um searching continue for search and continue for search the the, the 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 internet for see if um there are other positive things about Sierra Leone and there were um I find out say in August 2023 last year um they launched the, the national policy and, and strategy to eliminate um, cervical cancer and a very bold initiative we want to eliminate um we want to eliminate uh, cervical cancer by 2028 you know and so um kudos to the ministry of health um i'm gonna try for getting contact with the people uh, responsible but i'll not be able to get in touch with them i also find another article let's say they launch um the first um district-wide cervical cancer screening initiative na salon na the northern promise na Bombali district that's also, also very um um very good news why but um dr Sise go tell na more about more about that we also get a palliative care unit na Connaught and also small palliative, um, palliative care units around the country. They get this palliative care network. Um, they, they celebrated their fifth year last year and they achieved a lot. Yeah, I'll be able to talk to, to Dr. Boone and um, Dr. Thompson, they will tweet, I think, um, and Insef go um, say a few words about the palliative care unit after I don't talk now. But this is a very, very um, good development with Salon um, they make. Um, we special present our special guest who will get um, today, uh, Dr. Sisse. Dr. Sisse, they work for the Well Woman Clinic and then uh, um, Congo Cross uh, uh, of Moritong, uh, of Moritong Road, uh, Congo Cross. They do a lot of things, especially when it comes to women health. Um, they also they do a lot um, concerning breast cancer screening and um, also cervical cancer screening. And Dr. Sisse um, go able for tell we more of what they do and also um, for tell we about the situation at Salon concerning cervical cancer. I tell you all, thank you. We on a day with we. Uh, pay attention and please, 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 if I get any questions, wanna contact me through Well Body Better Fast Gentry or that through Yaris Fertility Consultancy. There's a consultancy we create for a, a couples there when they before bone picking. And I just um, um an, an online service and I can able to contact me through that. Um I thank Una for listening and I hope and Una back to um, Mr. Fuller. For make Mr. Fuller connect Dr. CC, if Dr. CC they're on. I'm Dr. CC. I don't give you a um, co host, so if you're able to share now. Uh, Dr. Bailey, if you stop for share, please, uh, so Dr. CC may share. Yes, Mr. Fuller. Okay. I'll try for you now. Okay. Do you Tell yourself. Hello? Yes. Yes. Who are you? You present yes. yourself. Okay. Good evening, colleagues, the organizers, or oh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you connect from. Um, Dr. Bell, don't touch small on part of my presentation, but big will focus more on within the happiness I salon.
So we will look at the numbers in the salon regarding the number of cervical, case, cervical cancer cases. So they see the numbers in terms of the screening and focus on how we don't they go towards meeting the 20, 30, 90, 70, 90 targets. So um, worldwide, we say cervical cancer are the fourth most common salon, that the second most common killer after breast cancer. And we still feel say the numbers we Dr. Bell just mentioned that 21.4 per 100,000 small, because we get a cancer registry in a connot where the try for record all cancers will not get a stand alone cervical cancer registry yet. And plenty of people in private or government practice knocking no, like USAI for report or notify where they come across a patient. Um, so the one the way they don't record the average between 500 and 600 a year, and almost 400 can die within one or two years. So that's now like 80% mortality. So for salon, we now get data for this HPV prevalence. Um, we don't identify HPV that are human papilloma virus as the virus we they make you get cervical cancer, especially when you get 16 and 18. But if you look at other countries that the subregion, we get similar demography, similar population characteristics like we. Ghana, for example, they get a recent study where they report 10.7%. And this is just what we call a cross-sectional study that the one the way they assess almost but then get HPV, not the one the way sometimes we don't clear them. Amongst the one the way get HIV, the prevalence of HPV, and they are same study in a 26%. The one that we're inside jail, now almost 50%. Then the one that we're in a jail, we get HIV, is about 63%. Another study, a different study, self assess West Africa, and reports say the one that we're afraid now, 16 and 18, we get a prevalence of about 4.3%, meaning out of every 100 women, about four of them at that moment they carry the subtypes the way they lead to cervical cancer. Uganda began to a study in way around 2014, where the report say from 15 years for any woman, till you they reach 49 years, you get about 85 to 90% chance for encounter HPV. Not necessarily the one with the free the 16 and 18, but that one plus the other subtype. Then um, Dr. Mention also say, you suppose for take 10 to 30 years for develop cervical cancer, you get about two to seven years, five to seven years for develop this plasia. But you will get HIV. This day, it increase your chance for one lady virus persist, which we call persistent HPV. Then it also reduce your chance for clear the virus and allow you for progress towards cervical cancer. We recent data say we get 1.7% the prevalence for HIV. This amount to about 77,000 people, and most of them are urban dwellers. So this data, over 50%, the Fiton, Makenibo, Kenema. Amongst the one day where the common and net, about 12%. So you meet every 10 women with a sex worker, one to two of them, they carry HIV. Next slide. So the reminder again for the 90, 70, 90. So my presentation really, they focus on what we did do for match then targets here. 
So before I prepare my presentation, I get a discussion with the uh, infectious disease person. I even talk to the program manager as well for reproductive health and the program manager for EPI as well for vaccines. So we say 90% of Upikine by 15 years will not be vaccinated. So which in salon they do? Seventy percent of them, when they wait on past twenty-five, now they say thirty years and above. Suppose for you to call a high-performance screening method, at least once before thirty-five and by forty-five, then who that they don't see problem part, don't develop what you call dysplasia, the changes the way they lead to cervical cancer. 90% of them suppose for undergo treatment. Or if you find out, say, the person already gets cervical cancer, instead of supposed to get appropriate treatment, 90%. Next slide. So the situation now in Salon, we now get HPV until October 2022, but the stride is staying good since the vaccine available. So it starts as a campaign, the first 10 days when they roll them out, and they will vaccinate about 183,000 them all 10 years. So they do both school and community. But after that, they, they be do for the vaccination. They turn with them, they do this COVID drive before elections, and they will vaccinate another 55,000 girls. But now, they don't make them routine. So like we, when they go to the clinic, they go get TT, tetanus. Or you go to Pekin, and they get measles vaccine or BCG vaccine. Any 10-year-old Pekin can walk into a government facility and ask for be vaccinated. Person and they say if we take two, but I mean, we don't find out say just the one enough and a better for square them out than for the double dosing. So now one thing, then they vaccinate, then 10 year old PM. Yeah. Um, the program manager also tell me say they get for rollout, which they call the MAC vaccination. So instead of that 10 year focus, they want to take all 10 year olds to 18 year olds. So the one that we maybe don't begin to enter college, the one that we not be able to access the vaccine because of location or not be the inside the country, then self suppose for benefit, but then we'll make an announcement very soon for that. Um, when you look now at this coverage for that first campaign, we give you 95%. Compared to Rwanda and Uganda, you see say we did do well. Next slide. So for the screening, so we don't talk about the 90% um, HP, the, the HPV vaccination. Now the 70% screening, the one that we, by the way, whether you take the HPV vaccine or you not take care, you suppose for screen, because plenty of people can ask me this question. The screening, where we they do in a salon, the main one, the mainstay, we call them VIA, visual inspection with acetic acid. So Dr. Bidon show a few images where the patient go lay down, you pass small instrument we call speculum, you watch the womb be mort, then you apply acetic vinegar. This vinegar we use for season, put na also where for the between three to five percent, then you wait for one or two minutes or at most three minutes, then you will see white, white patches where they suggest dysplasia, meaning changes don't begin happening at the cervix or the womb remote where might lead to cancer. And now with the push for screening and treatment. So the moment you see how you're supposed to do something immediately. 
So this one avail available and it's free. Then we get the pap smear, we get to call TCT, then you get the screening using HPV. Next slide. So let me look at we optic. So the VIA. So I discuss this data again with the program manager for reproductive health. So a confirmed to me say we get five hospitals now outside the able access to VIA. PCMH, we can call Cottage, Jue, what they call Chinese Hospital, King Haman Road Hospital, what they call Satellite, Bo Government Hospital, McKinney Government Hospital, and Kono as well, Kono Government Hospital, Koidu. So their facility here, they provide VIA screening. But in our tap day, we also get health centers because we know say plenty of the population no, might not access the government facilities, but go attend the, the hospitals, but then go to the health centers as well. So Regent also, they screen. Ogo Farm, they screen. Oswald, Client Town Health Center, they screen. Moriton Health Center, they do VIA. And you get people where they come in for other service. So for so can come for take depot injection because they don't want to get belly quick or it come for test for HIV. So the ministry, they encourage the service providers for integrate cervical cancer screening. So even if the person no come for them directly for tell and butter, and if the person consent immediately for do them. So far, we get more than 5,000 women away don't screen with an average VIA positivity of 5%. Um, Among them who are VIA positive, 10% of them get HIV. Next slide. So for the private facilities, we get well woman clinic where they say they offer HPV, I'm sorry, um, cervical cancer screening using VIA. And we also get World Up International and NGOA based. We they provide service not only as well, but for H for cervical cancer screening, now they get an outreach team within Bombali district where they go into government facilities, health centers, health posts, they screen and treat at the same time. So a partnership be there with UNAIDS in June, July with Wellum and Clinic where we screen 500 women. So we screen people in a way like a church community. We screen people who get HIV. We screen um, women the way that are sex workers, that they want a lot tumbo. And we get a VIA positive rate of about 2%. Most of them be HIV positive anyway. The VIA screening available for free now with well, women. And I don't say all hold hope international, then get an outreach team for supplement, complement within government, they do as well. Next slide. So the pap smear. This now number one or first line for possibility overseas. Doctor don't doing presentation just now and he don't fail with. And Private facilities in this way, we the offer. So I know say PPSL, Planned Parenthood Association, they offer. Well Woman Clinic, they offer. Um, trade camps, Memorial Hospital, they offer. But they at a cost. Because perhaps may I require patients for one pay, then you also require what we call a cytologist, at least, or a histopathologist for read the slide, you know, so easy for let women access them. So for example, if I collect a smear, I need for send the sample, the slide to say Tritrams or Ecomed or Ramsey and the cost they between 500,000 to even 900,000 for read and interpreter results. It's cheaper than I cannot, 
but sometimes we can get delays or get the results. Then Dr. Vibension say, woman, the way don't reach menopause, that side also you we know say cancer can happen with all the transformation zone. It can hide going inside at the cervical canal. So the pap smear I get to it, I get a brush, we we'll call a cyto brush. We just they shake shake inside that canal this small, then you apply them. Now the, the slide or if you get a liquid medium, you put her inside, you send her to the lab. So woman we don't reach menopause. You're not able to do the VI panam. Now only women they will not reach menopause yet. So we don't talk about the challenges, the cost. Then you get a, so the results subjective. Then in order to allow you for there you treat the patient immediately, because after the pap smear normally, if depending on the grading where you get, in they tell you high grade, low grade normally. But doctor we don't tell we say. Now, Germany, they get PAP 1 to PAP 5. Depending on the report you get, you can now do what we call the colposcopy. Go watch the cervix under a um, magnifier. Then you will know. You, you do, you apply maybe the vinegar again, then you see who so for collector biopsy. So this not able to allow you the one visit screen and treat where WHO they push. Next slide. So we call TCT, then a thin prep-based cytology and testing. Now, like where you they do the pap smear, but you put the sample inside some liquid medium. And that liquid medium, then you can able to do the pap smear or the, or the slide. Then you can also do to call reflex HPV, test the woman for HPV as well. And no know if maybe some of the listeners then could get them as them private facilities, but as far as I know, they're not available in at home. For the colposcopy, that are the machine where they enlarge the cervix in case you see something, you know, it's, it looks suspicious, then you want to collect a sample. The colposcopy, enhance the size of the cervix to a point that you will know the exact point outside for pinch for collect a sample what they call a biopsy. PCMH gets two, Joy Hospital get one, and Hammond would also get one. Uh, I'm not aware of any private facility. Again, I stand for be corrected, we we'll get a colposcope right now. For the side way they for read or interpret the pap smear result or the biopsy we will don't collect if you see a suspicious mark. We main side right now in the Connaught Hospital, the histopathology unit. But we really get a lot of challenges. Tritium if they receive sample, then we can also outsource. I mean I can send an ECOMED, ECOMED then can fly the samples out. And bring and come and bring the results come after two weeks. But sometimes cannot will really get waiting times for months. Sometimes you know they even get the result. I hope I not get possibly the work at the unit where they offend right now. So as far as colposcopy or pathology concern, we don't get any of them facility are upline. Everything at tongue day. Next slide. How will they do concerning HPV screening? So all this will they talk now for now 70%. So we don't talk about VIA screening. We don't talk about pap spear. We don't talk about TCT, say in all day. Now we talk about HPV. So this is not the main way in the screen for cervical cancer because now this is not a causative organism for cancer, not just not a risk factor. Where you married quick, where you start sex early, where you smoke, you get long term use of pills, and then one then are risk factors. But the, the cause of cervical cancer and HPV. So it makes sense for screen for cervical cancer using HPV screening. 
Again, I stand for be corrected, but I know I don't make a lot of inquiries in the private labs. We don't get any lab now where they offer HPV PCR or RDT. The advantage with HPV screening, Dr. Dante, we say you need five to seven years for you get dysplasia. So if you're negative, you can delay your next test until five years. Unlike the VIA, where you will do today, if you're positive, the next visit for be, if you're negative, the next visit will be after three years. In some country there, they even push them up to 10 years. South Africa, for example, if you're HPV negative now, now in the next 10 years, you just screen again. We say a reproducible meaning, uh, even when we can do the campaign, eh, you get some um, staff who will tell you, say, doctor, this is VIA positive. Or you watch, you say, no, no, this is not the camera in reflection. Or this, now also you don't soak this vinegar too much. But with HPV, then confusion in another day. If you're HPV positive at Ghana, if they make that same sample as alone, it's supposed to be positive. Then it gets high sensitivity, meaning it's not easy for them to miss person where they try to develop cervical cancer. Then we get the acceptability issue as well. One of the challenges that we with the note, especially we we don't work up country, especially the Muslim rural communities, you know, it's easy for a woman feel okay for a a man service provider, be it a nurse or a, a doctor, for examine them first for the vaginal exam, then for allow them for collect a sample. So with HPV, we get what we call the self-test kit, where the swabs, you give the patient, they go to your office, now your office, if you don't collect the sample for yourself, lock them, they can give you. So the possibility, they say, the acceptance rate go high if we get this nurse alone. Next slide. So the doctor mentioned an article we see, say in August 2023, the Ministry of Health revised the cervical cancer guidelines. Um, it's going to be part of the team day for include HPV testing because the 2020 guidelines be stop only at pap smear and VIA. The plan for rollout cervical cancer screening using HPV nationwide. So for for the training, we we'll get a WHO team. We come out of Zambia, a team of I think three oncologists and some oncology nurses, including a US professor. We can do almost a three week training in Tonga. Then we we'll get a team from Hunan Hospital. We come out China. Then self can do what a three week long training. Then they even take some of we go back to China for see the more advanced methods, see what thing they do and get for the training. They, then we don't responsible for train so many people, the government and in private service as well. The plan we government get now for roll out HPV by 2028, so that HPV will be first line for cervical cancer screening. Next slide. We can talk small but well woman clinic. So as early as this year, this April, well woman clinic, the pioneer HPV testing. Unfortunately, not to a population wide screening this. Now I wrote to Canada fund this project, but to get for be free for any woman we get for able screen. The target really in our Western rural and Bow rural as well. Now 1,150 women are the target. So from this study, we for able to get a fair idea of with HPV prevalence and 
I should say that can help inform um, government later as in the plan with them procurement. But the plan is put that HPV positive, we they do it to call triage, meaning you apply the VIA now for see if you get any obvious lesion, then you treat them with a kind of treatment at the next slide. Um, long term, they hope now that the well woman clinic will continue to provide cervical cancer screening using HPV at a small cost. Next slide. So we don't talk about the 90% vaccination. We don't talk about the 70% screening. Now to the 90% treatment of the pre-cancer or the cancer instance if we just start. So for the one with a pre-cancer, whether you don't do pap smear, you do um, even a biopsy, then they tell you say CIN1, CIN2, CIN3, or what you call CIS, carcinoma in situ. Or since we don't get um, access to that much, we they do VIA. As you see the white lesion, so if you say a white enough for you classify them as VIA positive, the aim now for treat immediately, not to follow the person go, you say come other term. So we get two methods. Either you do what we call ablation or excision. So ablation now for apply heat or cold temperature so that the surface cells they fall off. Excision now for cut cobalt. So from 2020, government facilities we don't offer cryotherapy. Now some Instrument with fiber gone, where they apply, where they make the cervix cold. We get for apply for some 11 minutes, then you need gas. So the maintenance will be a challenge. Marie Stop said we don't even um, bring the same service one or two years before Ministry roll them out. But because of the difficulty, forget the, the liquid gas and the management of the equipment, the time where they take for undergo the process. Government now introduced the thermal ablator. So the WHO team will become in January, we bring in thermal ablators. So 11, all the 11 government facilities we had mentioned, including the CHCs. So Ogu Farm, Regent, Moriton, all the one in the get thermal ablator, in addition to Jui, Bo, McKinney Government Hospitals, and PCMH as well. Well, Luman Clinic Self get a thermal ablator, and World Hope International outreach team. Not only they screen, then they go to health centers then within the district. They also they treat. They also get the equipment. Normally, when you do the, the procedure, if you're positive, you tell the patient or come after for, for abstain from sex, um, observing sex for four to six weeks for signs of, of infection or heavy bleeding. But the next review is supposed to be after one year. If the cervix look okay, then you will tell enough for come after three years. If the lesion where you see the VI positive area, it will occupy more than 75% of the cervix, they won't be much, more than three quarter of them appear white, or it look they go inside. So you suspect, say, where you apply the ablator, you will miss some part. WHO they recommend, so they use what we call the lip or let's, so lip now, um, loop electrosurgical excision procedure. They are making money to use that LLTZ, meaning large loop excision of the transformation zone. So this one, uh, procedure will get a risk for bleeding. So in as much as 
and train midwives and other cadres, WHO, the team we really advise, we say, this is supposed to be done by a doctor and not to any side. If for happen, side we get theater facility, the theater for be ready because you might encounter bleeding where you're not know, able to manage now the cervical cancer screening room. So HPV, um, LIP available at only the hospitals, not the health centers. Next slide. So for the one that we don't get cancer, the, you see a lesion, you do a biopsy, a comeback, invasive cancer. Unfortunately, most of the patients that we really see where they come with symptoms related to cervical cancer, they come in stage three or worse. The main personal experience and most of the publications there for sub Saharan Africa and the sub region are the same thing in the note. So, you know, they even get chance in most cases for offer them surgery because they don't pass in a stage there. Now, chemo radiation. For let you will do surgery for a stage 1B upwards, you need for do to call. One A two self upwards, you need for the way to call a radical hysterectomy. The people that we qualify for do that day now, they call them gyne oncologists. So now gynecologists there, we specialize in cancer, human cancer. Then. We will get one from Nigeria, we don't go. So at the moment, I know of where of any gyne oncologist we the Certainly not in government. I don't know. I see Dr. K who they give you updates, something Blue Shield or some other private facility get. The histopathology services, I don't mention. Um, my own personal experience, I don't get samples the way I don't send. Uh, Connot after biopsy. Some of them don't take months before I get the result. Some are not ever get results in over seven or eight months. And uh, by way I say sometimes the machine can, we can get issues with the machine as well. Yeah, affordable if you able to wait the wait and just 250,000 for letting give you a report for a biopsy. But if you're not able, you get for go. Uh, trade grams, I don't forget the exact amount which trade grams they do the biopsy for. If they're in the reporter within salon, I think if they around 500 or probably less. But if they outsource, if they fly them out, like we equipment they do, the minimum way they go charge around 1 million 500. If now operation you do, you don't pull something the whole room, you are letting do further testing. You just use histology can cost you upwards of 4 million, 5 million. We're not to all man they will afford them. But then I think Ecomed they send the samples to India. But then they, they will give you the results most times within two weeks. Then we get radiotherapy. This is uh, treatment within the shine light, now the womb emote. Now, normally when you get a stage three or worse, you suppose for undergo chemo radiation stage two stage two a or stage two two b and upwards. You suppose for undergo to then call chemo radiation. Even in the earlier stages, if your sample come and report one or two things, then you suppose for also undergo to call adjunct or adju adjuvant chemo radiation. This one right now not available in a salon. I think. Plants day for developing radiotherapy unit or nuclear medicine unit. I don't know how soon this will come. So, so far, if you see any patient with it beyond the stage where a radical hysterectomy or EPAM pass, 
you offer chemotherapy. Before this presentation, or before I start, I'll be aware of saying that the oncology unit, the connot or palliative care unit, that they normally offer them, but the patient and they pay for the medicine then. So we're able to call rounds or cycle, treatment cycles. So some patients can complain, say, then they, so some patients they can complain, say, then you need at least, um, I think two to three million for per cycle for buy the medicine at private pharmacies. I don't know if the palliative care units don't begin retail or the Connaught Hospital recovery units don't begin retail some of the medicine here. So the doctor, I noticed during the presentation, Dr. Pama just um, was on just till we say Blue Shield, the offer. Palliative care as well, um, mixed with I think some integrative therapies probably will come in and explain to we, and maybe give we um, a range of cost in case we get patients away for Sunday. So the take home message that the last slide is that when you look at the current situation regarding treatment of invasive cancer. Already, I don't tell we say we're not getting a gyne oncologist. The patient and the can late way operation self, no, they help them. When you ask for biopsy, you know they can't quit. Chemotherapy expensive. The palliative care services that we get, no plenty. Radiotherapy service, no day at all, at all. So we focus, especially. If we want for fetch the sick, now for make the picking them not get them in the first place, for maintain their numbers in the 95% upwards for HPV screening, and we will pick the sick at the dysplasia stage before it get invasive. This is not the end of the presentation. We are not be able to add the references, but anybody can contact me directly. I will send them. Thank you Thank very you. much, Dr. Sisi. Um, Dr. Bell, you asked something for us before I start? No, no, you, you start. <laughs> I, can't, I can't thank Kona enough. Um, there's a lot we are to learn. Um, I can always say this. Um, we can do Normal people, you know, every day people will call them um, um, practice session, but we can call a dry run where they give you the opportunity for low C waiting in the about for you know for present. And anytime we like, you don't do that in the way, I can come on the day now for this presentation, I can learn a lot more. And for with people in our tongue, I've noticed it's a sensitive topic, more so for the woman, then, but like really, doctors and all explain as well, this is not just a woman issue. Um, we demand them as well. Um, get a lot to worry about, and we get a lot, a big part for play. Um, I will give Doctor Bell um, the chance first of all. Let me thank um, um Doctor Cici. Yeah. Then um, give an overview. Then we will start looking at questions. Then um, we we'll take them off from there. Yeah, Doctor yeah. Bell. Yes, um, Doctor Cici. But well, thank you very much for that session. Day. I know that was also a short. Um, we we I give a very short notice, um, but you 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 able for um showing the situation at Salon at the moment, and I thank you very very much for that. Um, also um yes later on if people will ask for you contact uh, for contact you, um if una want um uh, the same contact una una um. When I can write we now we'll body better patient here they will be going on uh, doctor is in contact. If doctor will definitely go for after the fourth, if we go if he go agree for the again contact out, then that's no gi. Um we also get um Dr. Thompson. Dr. Thompson is at the audience. We um Dr. Thompson is at the head, uh, the local head of the palliative um 
care unit na Connaught and um I would like for make um, Dr. Thompson say a few words if he wants for um before we continue, if that is possible. Yeah, uh, I'll to allow Dr. Thompson for uh, see if I'm able. Then um I don't think I, I will ask for okay. Yeah, if you ask her for news, please. Yeah, I don't make her. Yeah. Good evening, everybody, or good afternoon, or good morning. How are you, I don't know if I audible. Yes, 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 yes we are Ima. Okay, so me and Dr. Amazing as I'm saying, I work in the Connaught Palliative Care Unit, and I'm happy that we're able to get this um, session here. We, we all learn a lot. Thank you very much, Dr. Bell and Dr. In fact, this is a for the brilliant eye-opening presentation. So, me they work in the palliative care unit, Nakonot Hospital. Um, basically, now we normally provide services for pali. I stand to be corrected. <laughs> now we normally now something very very new where people they know know about. Now we normally provide palliative care um service for patients in a salon. And we don't there for five years, and and one thing we we can always say, okay, no, apart from where people they know, no, even some of the with some of the health workers themselves not aware of palliative care service, and basically what they do is that mm -hmm. we want to make um patients them like patients that we never we diagnose with terminal illnesses like um, cancer, then chronic neurol then cancer, then neurological disease, they will not do well. When I came they can refer them to we and okay able for see them in an holistic manner. Holistic meaning that number one, um, there are different dimensions of ill of of illness or symptoms them. Um Mostly where patients then it presents to so we know doctors, they will basically they deal with the physical symptoms, like if patients can know well, we go call mark medicine, that's all. But when they deal with the spiritual care, when they deal with the psychological care, when they deal with the emotional care. What do we mean? Like for example, you get a young woman, they get cervical cancer. Must say that's a 35 year old woman with cervical cancer. You get pain. When I know the most common symptoms, they will get psychological issue. It will begin member, it will begin member say, hey God, why? It will begin member, it will begin feel down, it will begin feel um depressed and everything. It will get spiritual um issues there. It will begin member say, God, why make na me or not because some things that something they were do, and then they happen to me, and then they make this secure so they. In picking themselves go be affected, in man self go be affected. Because there are times the kind of symptoms already they get, people that they shy away from them. Then they go get also emotional, emotional pain when they're not able for relate. Emotional pain when they're not able for relate with people then they were out then they. And so now now and the wiki do. Also, there are times that some people at the moment we tell them say. Um, you get terminal illness. They are very, they are very, very depressed. And so they come in for say, it not mean say because you get this sickness here, yeah? go mean say your life don't done, or you they can't die. Not so the death sentence you get. Um, you can able for live, a, um, you never get you go able for get a good quality of life, where it will help you till the same way you die, and death not so something wrong with way. Now some so some now some very really bad, but and death can happen to anybody at different time. You can go very look very very healthy, and then we go across the road, motorcar and you die. So we prepare them for end of life service. Prepare the family also, and also we want we can always want to make them no say like even the caregiver of the family. We can want to make them no say there is a lot that they can do for make help them patients and make they get. Good quality of life. Number one, not vex for them, not begin make um show up for them, or not begin make them feel say um now because of something they do. If you get now, now they need your support till the end. Africans them um 
Sayalin, as I will believe in taking care of women. Sick will believe in taking care of we old people. Also, waiting again palliative care, they do is that um after life, after end of life, we get bereavement care, what they offer to them. Um, like if person don't die, we go help the help the family and in the grieving process. There are times we can help them in planning for death, planning, see how they call it advanced care planning, see how then they work out their life. Like you know, we'll take somebody where you know, say this stage four or five or stage three or four, and then in cancer, and then allow her to make it travel. Well, if the patient doesn't get the rights, but you as the doctor, you able for tell them, say, okay, why if you get if you get this money, you able for save them for you picking, or you able for put her into good use rather than you just take them and spend all now and they will not say we're not able for weigh the advantages or the disadvantages of some treatment them um so just a little bit of statistics we don't they have five years um or five years like october we don't see 800 patients there and it's on after the 800 patients most of the patients there we don't see now breast cancer patients there um then followed by cervical cancer where will they talk about and also um liver cancer that's not for the adults we ask for we also they give some we also they provide service for patients and all are doing children hospital. And then most of them, most of the patients they will see now young picking their way in age zero to five years. Whereas for the adults, then now most of the patients they will they see now between the 35 to 49. And now and they are the productive year of the of the norm of life. So now, now and there, I just get, I don't know if anybody gets any question for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Thompson. Um, <clears throat> for we fumbled and we did tongue. I'm waiting, Dr. Thompson, to do so. I don't know if you understand the, how good that service they be, because it did not in part of the world now, yeah. And I think they will, to be honest, I know we know say they did one at all now, which is fantastic news. Um, because we post in the now then stage them get alive. The way they talk no more, he need all the care and attention, and he need, I know say maybe if I use the word pampering, um, because that person they basically in at that stage where you want to for make uncomfortable until God say now in right time done, which he go. But also the the support and the provide not just for the person in their life, but also for the people they wouldn't left behind, you know. Um, that's in other way, as Dr. Um, Thompson talked about, um, we community, we are very good at looking after we people then we see because we need help. But we think we can get something they will bear in care of. Like I can always say people they come around when they bear in apple. But after a few days or a week or so, everybody don't go back. Now we not get that follow on support. Uh, which can be, it can be very difficult for some people. I get a, a friend, for example, we lost him, mama. And through that day, you know, um, in life, take it on. Somebody will be vibrant, the door to by himself, you know, full of life. From where that thing they happen, in, in not being safe again. And there's a lot, within, there's a lot of effect within I can get. So um, Dr. Thompson, I can't stress how grateful I'll be. And I believe there are a lot of people in that tongue appreciate on our service we want to do so for people then we not be know about it here um if you want no more um the details they at the screen now it's always fine for you even if you know need and now but always fine for you know and understand for me for example in that first way i like research i like for no stuff they will call out kombusa they will call out inquisity whatever they want to call out that's fine <laughs> for me that first way i like for no stuff so i always like for ask i go read or find out but thank you very much um um dr thompson and if anybody get questions um you want to ask, please feel free for ACN up or raise your hand through um um the the um the app and we and ask you a question. Um, Dr. Bell, you get anything for Um no, I, I just really read some messages the way um Dr. Kegu um been put, say blue shield left the try for the blue shield um, hospital and the um, hospital way. Um, ah, look, I know raise the hand. So let's exactly. Talk. I'll be sending you a message. I'll be sending you a message for asking for yes, my yes, yes. yes. Kojo, you there? You know, on meter.
You don't meet her? Yeah, I reply for meet her. Dr. Piru? Yes. Um, good evening, everybody. Welcome, sir. Yes, um, thank you. I, I, I want to thank Dr. Uh, uh, oh, Nakuro for talk. Um, I want to tell Dr. Um, Tilly Bell, thank you, thank you, thank you, plenty thank you for this subject and um, for being so dedicated to, um, you know, um, exposing our community here back home, you know, to some of the important um, things in medicine. Um, it's especially what is involved in, um, you know, treating the woman. Um, honestly, um, the um, the um, what I was going to talk about is how do we use prevent simple preventive me measures, you know, to protect our women from, um, you know, these cancers. Because if we know, I mean, it, it is well known that HPV is, uh, is, 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 a, is, is a predisposing factor to cervical cancer, then how can we get rid of um, the virus at all? The answer is yes. The, the virus can be completely eliminated from the, um, from the um, vagina and also the uterus by um, uh, integrative medicine techniques of um, vaginal insufflation and um, uterine insufflation, which are very, um, you know, um, non-invasive um, type of, um, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, um, therapies. So, um, be because when you, when, you, when you apply a highly oxidative material, onto the virus, it inactivates it or neutralizes it. That's the important part. It can be done. And also, we, we, we also apply some of this thing in a, in, you know, IV intravenously, but in a systemic manner. And um, we also they see a lot of good uh, promise with this. Now, um, what we have done is that um, we, in, in West Africa, um, the, the work of integrative medicine has been recognized by the West African College of Physicians. So we are working in a broad sense with all the major uh, specialties in West Africa. So we have a, an arrangement with um, the Amadubelo University Teaching Hospital in, in Zaria. That's the largest oncology um, um, hospital in the whole of Africa. And the head of department, you know, we work closely with him. And, um, you know, because of that, we have, you know, we did, we, you know, we, we, we have been encouraged to start, um, you know, administering ke chemotherapy and also adding our own integrative medicine uh, therapies as well. And what because what we I mean, they observed in Zaria is that when you do that, you know, instead of the initial dip in, in a, you know, after chemo, when you take the chemo, the patient's condition gets worse and then it, plat it you know, it plateaus then it, 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 and before it, 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 you know, it improves. But they have found out that when you do this integrative medicine therapies before and after, what happens is that after the chemo is applied, the patient immediately starts to get a, a marked improvement. In a, you know, so um, it, it's an upward trend. So, um, so Dr. Uh, Professor Olasinde has um, encouraged us to, you know, you know, to use it, and we work together, you know, with um, with, with, um, with with regards that. So it's 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 and um, HPV um, the 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 HPV test I was told during the session by our new lab that they 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 are capable of doing it. They have the equipment and stuff to do it. So um, so that will um, probably come online um, in the next few weeks. Right. But um, that's that's basically 
what I will say. But, but uh, in, in fact, I mean, the idea of if not only cervical cancers, any cancer, all cancers are as a result of toxins. Toxins are the things that cause cancers, you, you understand. So the best thing is to detox, that is to, for assist the body because the body does detox all the time, but because of the, of the, of the uh, you know, quantity of toxins that come in, you know, as we're exposed to, um, you know, right now on planet earth, we need to positively do things to detox so if you detox, it means that you are not just sitting down there waiting for the cancer to come, or you, you know, you 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 eliminate the cancer as well. It it it, it never comes. That's it. Anyway. Um, um Dr. Kero, you talk about you you talk about detox. You can able to shed some light on that as in detox how? Using what? Sorry. Yes, um with you know, detox takes many shapes and forms, but the first thing about detox is um, what you do to prevent people from putting toxic materials in their mouth in the form of food or drink. So we have to reduce these toxic materials that are in our food and drink. One of the most big culprits in, 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 in Africa is Maggi and all these, uh, you know, these things that contain monosodium and glutamate. I mean, they are highly carcinogenic and yet it's a food enhancer. And guess what, in all the, you know, all over, you go to Nigeria, they will, when you tell them about this, they will, they will say, hey, but what, how, how do you expect us to cook now? What do you expect us to use to cook? And <laughs> no, 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 it, 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 it's not funny because our our grandparents were you know were cooking delicious meals without I mean, magi and all of these funny things. So I mean I, I think we should go back to them and show them say look it can be done. You can you can you 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 can you can sorry lot of man you you can cook sweet soup without you not get for put magi because magi is a cellular I mean, I mean, toxic material. It kills you. It exposes you to the, 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 and develop all sorts of cancers. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for, for the clarity. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, you got anything more for that? Um, unfortunately, I have not written down anything, but okay, I, I want to thank uh, Dr. Sisse for his, um, you know, his detailed, um, um, you, you know, presentation. In fact, that's that was what what pushed me to call my own people to ask whether HPV can be done because I know they could do it, but then I have to con I had to confirm. But then, um, but um, <clears throat> one thing I want to say is that um, healthcare is a national security issue. It's a, an issue for the you know the the security of the state. We cannot leave healthcare in the hands of uh, you know um, non Sierra Leoneans. We I mean we accept non Sierra Leoneans as partners. They can help us. They can assist us. But Sierra Leoneans should take full control of health. You understand? I, I mean a lot of things are happening now that are very very bad for Sierra Leone. You have a a, 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 a hospital that was wrongly registered and they, and they call it life care, life care hospital. My dear friend, every hospital that is operating on planet Earth takes care of life. So nobody has the right to, uh, 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 you know, to, 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 to usurp that generalized um, um, stuff. And if I was in council at the, at the time they came to register, I would have refused to re register that name. It is absolutely, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's unethical to do that. It, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's totally crazy. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, thank you very <laughs> thank much. You, thank you, thank you, Kosha. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kiru. Um, Yes, I mean, this topic is a very, very important topic. And um, it's the, even through the discussion and also through the um, Dr. Thompson and Dr. CC, they actually find out, say, Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, we did try, you know, um, even if now, um, that's what you can say, Totoy's one box, I'm short. But still, with the box, with the try. And there's always a start, 
you know, and um, we low no, low no lose hope. Low we encourage um, um the policymakers then for continue and then um, let will not only get the policies but we will also act on the policies. And we well body better patients in at this we can do. Yeah. And discuss and talk about these um, issues, create this um this this session. We go there on on YouTube as well and um, later on, hopefully in the near future. <laughs> and also we would get people there like Dr. C and Dr. Thompson for count on for for terrible the situation as I thank I thank I thank Una for Una work one they do and also also only Una um I know say the um the post with the um responsible for reproductive health in Sierra Leone, Dr. Francis Moses. Um I've tried for contact him but I'll never forget him. But um I still say in a in, in, in teams if they do they, they they do a very good job. So so kudos to to the one in the salon when they do this and we'll keep up this thing because as I say, I mean the one main thing very important for me is that um prevention is better than cure. That is very important for me. Thank you very much, Dr. Bell. <clears throat> Somebody did say as well um about um therefore they do the you know the vaccination at school and stuff. Um the good thing is, like what Dr. Bell, they say, um, the country they make stride. Yeah, um, it better they would do something that we do nothing at all. And like we, Dr. K, we don't say, and Dr. C, and Dr. Thompson, you know, various people, them, they, you know, various parts they play, you know, various um, um, groups they play them part. Now, I believe, say, there must be some kind of roadmap. If not, people, then people are where they all they talk. So these are people where they work class alone, some of them get influence, you know, within the medical sector. So I'm sure. Um, then they do their, their utmost for make sure say they save lives. So I believe say they can kind of the way they must they look at. But also people in the way they within the powers there be, we can see them program, yeah. We I believe say then go take action if action already um, in the other pipeline. Because me no know, so I'm not gonna say definitely yes, and I will say definitely no. Um, all I can say is um people in the watch and people they take notice. Um some of the people that we can join, most of we never know that and people in the be now only later on something that we can find out. The, the statue of the people in there. Um, if I'm them, I don't see anybody don't ask question, and I'm very conscious say we don't burn almost two hours. Yeah, uh, one on a plenty thank you. We will not stay on up to this time. Um, what I would do, I will go around the panel. I will start with Dr. Bell, then then I'll go to Dr. Umfali to say, um, I don't know if um, um Dr. Thompson wants to say anything else. Then I'll go around the web, but the better part of forum. Let me wrap up for today. Um, what I will see as well is do you you will not, you know, I will share. We not, we all number again with WhatsApp group. Um, they at the chat. Please try for join. But also, you can contact that number if you want the contact details for then different different um groups there within doctors. They don't share because uh, there's a lot of information we don't share today, and most likely some man they you know they don't get so much stuff. Some man will be worried now that they remember the details then they again. But like Dr. Bell don't say the recorded version will be online as well. So go back, have a look, or if you need the contact details. Get in touch. We will provide any details in there. When I go seek help and you know advice and guidance, you know like we um Dr. Bell say prevention is better than cure. If you're not sure about something, you better let you ask where you look stupid. Then you see them and say ah, I don't want to go ask that. Or you know then later on, few years down the line, you find out say you know you don't fall victim. Only if then they say ah, if you been come to me two years ago, we will be able to do something. That two years day, you know you know that time where you don't that time where you don't lost, you never forget them back. Okay, so Dr. Bell, you want to give people a last one today before I go to Dr. Ufala, does he say? Um, no, well, I don't always I get for say, it. I just want to tell all man, um, thank you for them join and and wanna please, please share the message to other people then. And um, when I get for not say, well, body better question three. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Dr. Ufala, does he say? Last guy for mute you. Oh, yeah, you're on mute. Does it say you get any final word for yes, Mr. Fulham? Yeah, you get any final word for that pop for today, sir? Yeah. yeah yes, ahead, um, thank you once again for for the time for joining this discussion. Um we get plenty in a way we lack, but a fine follow we focus on which we'll be able to do with the prevention. So some of we they are we now mama and papa then get picking a this strong. Sometimes if the campaigners and they can't school, 
but they get leaflet them we then they give the beginning for ask whether they forgive vaccine or not there was a time where um i think that be i don't know if not be polio or something where my wife not be aware about then they not agree then later it tell me i say no there's a campaign right now allow them for take care so because of the bad news they all can get online, some people they naturally can be suspicious when they can do campaigns. So if it come at school level for this HPV vaccine, we are, if you receive an leaflet or you say create the awareness, who say you the work, who say that you come to say if the vaccine day, we get the NACS and do try for educate and small and encourage them for accept or allow them picking them for be vaccinated. Then the uptake of the screening, now a big challenge because naturally we when we seek a phonetical hospital, the typical salon person, they defend the community nurse. Where the nurse type and I go to pharmacy, then where the sick don't see us, they come na hospital. So for let you tell person we not get symptoms for come for screening. For sick way, you know, they see the cervix the inside. Now, a very big challenge. Then we also get issues with male involvement. We know, say, we traditional set up now, most women they can feel like say, they require the approval of the man. So we get people, and we actually they take up the screening, but we take each for they do the ablation, and what I say, ah. You say four to six weeks, I don't forget sexual contact. Uh, and now on a time for I go ask the man for stay approved. Most time they will go, they not come again. So they go fine for lay we in we campaigns or we we awareness. We also, as much as we know they give the man and the vaccine at this point, for let we know say they self get a role for playing the homes and in the short making. Otherwise. I think the discussion will be very interactive. Thank you, the host, um, Dr. Bell and Dr. Kegel, and all who that don't make input. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. C. Um, thank you very much as well to uh, Dr. Thompson. Dr. Thompson, you want to say a last word? Uh, I'll look for you. Pass if you want to say any last word. Please make a short. Yes, so I just ran for tell on that thank you. I know say people are not getting the body service they would provide. And we just happy anyone, anybody we want, they can reach out sooner. And I know sooner self can reach out so we okay. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Thompson. And also thank you very much, Dr. Tui, um Dr. Keu. And that they can go now around with we own panel for let and give them final word. Um, they are on a time for making short because we really don't go over time. So I'll go first to Dr. Ansius. Dr. Ansius, I'm on. Good afternoon. Good evening from wherever you're tuning from. I just want to say thank you very much to Dr. Bell. Dr. C.C. and Dr. Thompson, and of course, Dr. Keu. Thank you so much. And to the rest of the people that will join me. Thank you, thank you for everyone who wanna join me. I hope so, and I go pass on the message with our loved ones. And I want to say special thanks to Umfali and Melvina, and then our personal colleagues and friends. We glad you for the work on that they do. I hope so, we go try for collaborate more and for do more things and together for help for promote the awareness and for help the health of people in a salon. My family, and I don't forget the message and the take home word we are. Well, but we better pass them to you. Thank you. Over. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, Auntie Nafi? Yes. Good evening, everybody. I just want to say thank you to Dr. Bell, Dr. Thompson, and Dr. Sise for the great presentation and useful information. I tell you all, thank you. Um, Special thank you to Dr. Thompson. Um, very good for letting me know say palliative care service there as alone. I know we know. I remember last week I mean they talk about that. Say what in the psychological support when they give to patient. But very useful for no say something they already. So thank you to everybody who are joining and who dare we present. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Dr. Rashid. Uh, 
Uh, plenty thank you to Dr. Bell for the wonderful presentation. Plenty thank you to Dr. Anfali Sise and Dr. Thompson. A very important for make we they know what did they happen at the ground. So the input of Dr. Sise, Dr. Keru, Dr. Thompson, very important. Una thank you. Fambu the most important thing, well body better past gentry. So we not take them presentations here for granted. They are very important. We want to make we country a well body, the better every day, every year. Una thank you. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Rashid. I see I said about not sure if life's are fuller, so I don't ask them before if I you no know, answer. So I will go for wrap up. Um if I'm them as soon as you um the, you know the health can at home they improve. Um, with the PC at some point, you know, the same service they were available at Free Tongue were available in the provinces as well. But all things are small, small. But if you did the provinces standing enough for stop pillar, you know, kind of free tongue for can seek the help and, and, and support where you need. <clears throat> we spend a lot of money on dresses, party, and so many other things them we to be honest, if you don't get well body, there's no point. So I will advise people them when you need that support, make sure say you go fend who say the medicine they also <clears throat> supposed to. Um, the quality doctors don't say, oh, that's all right. That's all right. I'll to you in a bit. So, um, dear, yeah, when I make sure, say, when I seek the help and advice, we are available. Program that they are there, they're very beneficial. Then, doctors, yeah, they take time out of their very, very busy schedule. Just imagine how many years it take for them. They, they, they people, yeah, so land book, for top that they don't practice for years. Yeah, they pay them boku money for letting give them for letting give for them kind of advice they also with it, but they get out to una for free. So I'll tell them I say una take them, una make very good use of them. But so, come on, you get last for people them. Yeah, yeah, well, they don't. I'm not just waiting they get for say. I, I mean, I, I tell them thank you, thank you, and uh, can you say thank you for we really forget me? Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the same thing. It's good. Hey, I just I said for I see your last one, please. I'll make a short one. Yeah. <laughs> just a quick one. Um, I think the message we go take from this is we all get the responsibility for look after we have and take care and make sure say we conscious of we body and seek medical advice and help as soon as possible. As um, um you know, Mr. Fuller does say. And um also I just want to say I'm very, very impressed. Thank you, Dr. Um, Thompson um, um, for the palliative care in Sierra Leone. Palliative care are very, very important in the UK. In fact, we get so many meetings about with palliative care patients. It's unbelievable. So thank you very much. And thank you, Dr. Bell, for a wonderful presentation and Dr. Cite as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Jim, Jim. <laughs> yes. Jim. Make I just make a special shout out to the big one there. We see yes, senior Dr. Bell. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a nice, well, let me shout out to them. It's really good. Uh, we see we colleagues them, of course, Doctors Kiru, uh, you know, Melvin and Thompson. And obviously, yeah. they're on the way around me. So definitely. Nelly that, Bell that's as well, they're online. Dr. Eh? Bell? Nelly. Dr. Yeah, Dr. Nelly. Bell. I see Nelly, yes. Nelly, I got to. So, so we're grateful for that kind of opportunity for get to get a galaxy of brains like how we get them. So we stay proud to we. Salon, we still do your own, and it's really pleasing for you. He say the improvements they make, the and the progress and the advances that they make, especially in the field of research, you know, palliation and all that. You know, although we not get to say we get for great, but I think say if for nice, let we get a double session for let we for actually go into this thing. It really before do a lot of justice to her. But I thank you, thank you, and never in my wildest dreams have been thinking say we well body go for attract you know kind of, uh, you know, interest from people that we get, they will look at eight o'clock, you know, they're still there with me. That speaks volumes and yeah. that we want. So thank you so much to everybody. We're grateful. Duff we had to now. And remember, say, prevention is better than cure. In other words, well body, better pass gentry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. Um, yes, sorry. Um, Doctor, we forget one very important person. I want to give a special shout out to Mrs. Yeti Bell. 
For those who don't know, the Christian, Dr. Christian Bell, the presenter and wife. Yeah. Ah, you <laughs> see, Amanda, you keep on quiet. Thank you for when you borrow me, Christian. We don't say the take from your time, but thank you so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. We found brilliant. Thank plenty, you. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> on our plenty, plenty, thank you. For the other, we'll not give shout out. You don't mean say we forget to not all and not relevant. Everybody relevant. <laughs> Everybody program. important. Yeah. For our day for. So, dear, on our reach out with new topics, they want to go on your report. I want to explain the explanation and anything. A lot of top people we don't do before. If I need for long, repeat them. We'll go repeat them and try for explanation better because the reason we make this program in Creole and we make them understand. You know, because of the same day when I see them before, doctor, the jargons then too big. And then they don't tell you something, you, you, don't, you don't get that fear on you already. But yeah, I have safe space for let you talk the language you don't understand. And hopefully, we don't make another land book. And I spread the message around. If also anybody gets the, 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 what should I have to say, the, the contact for like this rich radio, mainstream radio and TV, we know they charge anybody for our game free of charge. So if the radio station gets in touch or TV station gets in touch, we go give them the program free of charge because now, Una, one try for help. But another key message we uh, matter to touch on, it's in the way we they do to we own body. There's certain, certain personal choices they will get for make. You know, salt and the magic they don't mention, there are lots of lifestyle changes that will, will some of we need for make. So I will say, look, look into that. Programs in the on um, YouTube what we don't do before, on healthy living and stuff like that, when I go have a look. But till we meet again, well, buddy, better pass gently. Well, I thank you very much and good night. Thanks.